Hey, what's up, guys? I'm Praetorian, and welcome back to Hearts Farm 4 as we are playing with the Netherlands. So, the last episode, the Germans finally launched an offensive, took over Luxembourg, took over much of Belgium as well. Looks like we're losing there. We're going to do a few things there in a minute. Uh, first, I'd like to set up the situation here because we do have the uh, 32 divisions, which is, you know, more than that general could command. So let's go ahead and fix this real quick. Uh, just kind of change this up. And what we'll do is we'll have, like, all the guys that are here in their own separate army here. Uh, we'll just kind of change this. I come up, make them purple. Uh, I'll make them a diamond. I don't think we have any of those yet. And we'll give them a commander as well. And just get that assigned. All right, awesome. Uh, so yeah, they'll be set up here. It does leave uh, one more space open for another division that we finish up training here. Uh, we currently have 10 training up as of right now. So I did want to get that taken care of. Um, and I guess we'll keep our, I mean, there's really no reason to keep these guys. I mean, they're, they're getting injured. Uh, we've got a, a lot of Navy experience right now. So I suppose there's real no reason to keep these guys uh, training up here. So I think we're gonna go and have them uh, go back into the, just go ahead and go into the dockyards. Well, can't really repair that, I don't think. So instead we'll have them go here. Just kind of get these guys repaired up and move them over here. All right, awesome. Uh, so we still have these guys attempted to sink something here. I don't know. They're going to be uh, too effective. It doesn't look like they're uh, doing so well thus far. Uh, they haven't been bombed at all, though, so we'll keep them going for right now. And those are just the level one. Uh, I want to keep our level twos operating in the Asian theater. All right, so let's go ahead and get this situation here set up. Now, they're currently attacking there, so I'm not going to stop that because we might actually win that. And we're going to go ahead and set up a uh, fallback line here. Uh, we're going to just delete this fallback line. And then get a new fallback line set up going across here. All right, so that's four divisions. Uh, so that's not going to be quite enough. So what we'll do is we'll send uh, these ones here. It'll be six. And that's fine. Uh, and then with the last 12, we'll just kind of use them here and have them defend. I'm just trying to trench up, guys. That's what we want to do there. All right, so uh, these guys are attacking over that way. We're going to let them continue because it doesn't look like they're going to win. Uh, we'll have to stop that one, though, because that one's not effective. Uh, and instead, we'll have one of these guys assist here. Try taking that province. Uh, we'll have to stop this attack. That's not, just not going to work, unfortunately. Let's go ahead and send a division over that way. And I might set up another line here. I want to see what the line's going to look like since we are attempting to win in a couple places here. Uh, and let's just go and pull all these guys back here. That's not going to work anymore, so we'll have to stop that. All right, so that's unfortunate. Okay, the king has abdicated. Uh, they still haven't knocked that British invasion out just yet. It's interesting. Uh, there are some freight convoys being sunk there, German freight convoys. Iceland takes control of foreign affairs. Now that the Dem uh, Danes have been knocked out of the war. And I, I don't think we're going to win here, guys. All right, so we just might as well pull it back then. Pull all these guys back. Just can't do it, man. That's unfortunate. All right, so now that we know what this line is going to kind of look like, well, let's let all of our troops move here. I guess what we could do is get, well, this is kind of odd. Uh, so it's like one, two, <laughs> yeah, that's kind of odd. Uh, I'm trying to get all these set up hmm, in their own separate thing. All right, let's just wait then. Uh, that'd be what, the best to wait. Um, we, I guess we could set up the, oh, well, you can see that the red ones are, uh, which ones have the red. Okay, I got this, guys. This is what we're gonna do. Uh, let's go ahead and set up a uh, fallback line here up along this territory for these guys. Uh, so these guys are all going to retreat here. We'll let them take that province. And uh, these guys can stay here for right now. All right, just trying to defend these these uh, provinces that we have. Uh, there are some divisions here that aren't assigned, so you might want to do, let's get them moving over there. Trying to have 12 along here and 6 along here is what the plan is. Alright, and then uh, there's still one division here needs to get assigned. And there we are, we're up to 12. Fantastic. And trying to retreat here. Having some difficulty. They keep on attacking us. Because, uh, yeah, they're about to break through there. Alright, we're back to green. Excellent. So far, holding out in all these territories, trying to trench up along this line here. We should probably take a look at our fortification situation as well. Uh, we're getting up to level 3 across here. We're going to go ahead and continue that. Although, that one's going up to level 
Hmm, where are they at on that one? Okay, well that one's gonna be level four. I wasn't planning on building that one up to level four, but looks like it already happened. Uh, let's go ahead and, and start building just in case we lose Rotterdam, although Rotterdam is key. We do need to defend Rotterdam. You know what, let's go ahead and build up a level five in Rotterdam. And then we'll build up back here as a contingent in case we have to retreat even further. Starting to feel pretty familiar, guys. Starting to feel a lot like the last campaign. Of course, we don't have to defend against all those naval invasions by the British and the Spanish this time, so there's that benefit. Um, but we also have a lot more troops that we're, we're keeping in the Dutch East Indies this time as well. We didn't have this many troops last time in the Dutch East Indies. Uh, yeah, we'll take that. Even though I know we were kind of running short on convoys, infantry equipment situation is is really quite bad overall, guys. In fact, we're going to go ahead and pull from the support equipment and put it into infantry just to try and fix the situation stump. And we are going to have to take uh, another civilian factory and give it to the French, unfortunately. All right, so yeah, just trying to entrench up. It looks like we are going to lose right there as well. Um, doesn't seem like there's any stopping that, guys. Uh, I'm going to try and bring another division there. We have a couple more coming, though, so maybe we can get it done. Uh, perhaps. Uh, what we could do is send, let me see how, when these guys get here, uh, two days, four hours, two days, okay, so just really much, pretty much irrelevant, so let's go ahead and send him over there to attack, to try and lock him down in time to get the troops over to here, we are losing there as well, alright, yep, it's not going well guys, uh, so, yeah, that means we did lose there, shit, alright, so, let's move this then, Move that over to there. Have these guys instead go up that way. Uh, these just won't stop, man. <laughs> when they get inclined to do an attack, they just do not stop. Uh, so yeah, we currently have uh, 12 divisions trying to get assigned here. That'd be three each. Uh, I'm really, really tempted to uh, get all the troops pulling back now and up along our, our line of defense here. So yeah, I, I just don't know that we're gonna be able to defend their territory at this point. Trying to push them back here, it is green, so we'll keep it going. Uh, we did prepare the naval expansion, which is excellent. Uh, so let's go ahead and get, uh, let's see what we wanna get next. I don't actually know. Uh, Crown Jewel Colony, I've seen all of our options here, guys. Uh, so the uh, with the naval one done, we can now get the cornerstone of colonial defense. Uh, so that's just the naval doctrines, we don't need to do that. I think we're gonna move down these ones, guys. I think this would be the best idea. This one gives us the division defense on core territory. So let's get that one. Also, uh, more support from non-aligned. Currently at 21%, we do need to get that one all the way up. So let's get the dockyards assigned. Uh, we're gonna put most of them into getting these cruisers done, which as of right now, we're set to get it done on the 13th of February. Okay, get a little bit more convoys going as well. Uh, and again, we are short on steel, unfortunately. So I'm going to put another one of our civilian factories into that, so that's a real shame. Uh, so, let's see how we're doing on these forts, what we got done, now that we're actually going to be getting attacked here soon, and we're not going to be able to keep building up the forts. Um, so, looking all right. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm really tempted, guys, to just start fortifying up here. I'm trying to take there, and it doesn't look like that's going to work. Yeah, I don't think we're going to get there, guys. All right, so let's go ahead and change this up. Let's go ahead and take all these guys and sign them here. That gives up the 10, uh, so that'll leave eight divisions for right here. And then we're going to uh, adjust it so that they're only defending this territory here now. Let's see how that goes, man. I don't think we're gonna be able to defend this territory, frankly. Trying to uh, get out of here, we are killing Germans, so I guess we'll keep most of them here. Let's just put the better one, get him retreating there. All right, excellent. Defend that territory. So yeah, we're currently setting at eight divisions to defend this. It's just frankly not enough. Yeah, they're already about to take Brussels. All right, I think it's about it's about it, guys. Probably gonna need to give up on the Belgians here uh, now that they've lost their capital. I just don't expect us to, yeah, be able to help out much here. Uh, we could attempt to, to get it back, I suppose. We'll try, uh, since that's like key. Um, but yeah, I do think that this is over. Let's just go ahead and sign them there. Yeah, Belgium capitulated. All right, so it's a wrap. Let's go and take the entire army and get them all signed here. Let's just get all these guys uh, backing up. Now, we don't have to worry about being cut off here, of course, because we do have a, uh, you know, we can get get away with the ports. We have control of the seas now, so that's not a problem. Uh, so there's that, at least. Make sure none of our troops are currently attacking here. Just trying to defend this territory now um, with our with our forts. See how things go. Uh, we still are, I think, flooding right now. Uh, yeah, we get that done in one day. 
And the Great War tank has been completed. I completely forgot we were going after that. Well, looks like we won't need to get the tanks like I thought we were going to do. Um, that would not be uh, wise at this point. Uh, we do need the assembly line production. Let's go after that first. Anything kind of help the production situation since, as you guys can see, we are having some problems in that regard. Yeah, the equipment's uh, yeah, just not looking great at this point, unfortunately. Uh, so we're going to do this just to get rid of this, but we're not going to build them right now. And yeah, I don't know what else I can pull from to go towards the infantry equipment. Because uh, yeah, we need the artillery guns. It's key for our attack. Uh, and we're not going to accept any of theirs because I do want to annex them eventually. Alright, passive sonar has been knocked out. Fantastic. So we'll put those onto our cruisers once we uh, are ready to build those. And let's go ahead and go after other 1941 techs. Uh, so let's see what all we need to get here. And I'm going to zoom out a little bit because it got kind of loud when you're in that close. I guess we'll go ahead and start working towards those bonuses. I think that's probably for the best. Uh, so let's get the improved artillery upgrade first. 68 days to knock that out. Let's try and get all our troops uh, retreated here. Just kind of give up on the, the French territory. Or excuse me, the Belgian territory. I guess we're giving up on the French too. Uh, they'll probably start uh, losing territory very rapidly as they typically do. I don't expect that to happen. Uh, and it looks like our troops went by sea. I don't know how wise that was, but it's fine. Uh, these guys can... Yeah, I think these guys will actually need to go by sea. Yeah, because we are about to lose here. Yeah, we'll go by sea. Uh, have them come over here and then go that way. Since there's no way we're getting that way... Alright, so let's go ahead and have these guys go here. Though, we are lacking convoys, so they're not able to, unfortunately. Alright. We might need to shut down some of our... Yeah, you know what? We're going to have to shut down uh, some of our... Uh, the lend lease that we're getting. Uh, so let's just take a look and see who we can cancel. Uh, and this will get us 19 convoys, so yeah, we'll start out with canceling this. See if that helps. I got us one convoy. Uh, is that because they went into the sea? One of them's going. Alright, we might need to cancel another one, guys. We don't have the convoys for all this. Uh, maybe the British Raj? I think they're sending us quite a bit. Okay, we'll cancel that one. That'll get us a lot of convoys back. Alright, awesome. Alright, so these guys are going by sea. Come over here and defend our fortifications that we have along this line here. Uh, so just taking a look, and yeah, we were able to get to the level 3 there. I'd love to get up to level 4 if we can, so uh, we got level 4 up right there. So let's try and get level 4 here along uh, this territory right here. Uh, but again, I think we're going to prioritize... Well, we don't need to prioritize the back ones just yet. Rotterdam does need to be prioritized, though. Okay, so we can put them above these two here. A lot of uh, stuff that's damaged right now. Uh, so let's put them right there. Alright, that looks good. Try and get this fortification built again. They don't build when we're being attacked. Uh, so, yeah. They might not uh, They might not be building, which will let us finish up these back ones. Uh, we also would want to set up a defense here. Because um, right now, if they pull back, there's no further fortifications except for right there. Uh, but these are not fortified. This one's not fortified. Here's not fortified. Oh, never mind. Take that back. It is fortified. We have the coastal forts there because uh, the coastal forts are used when you attack across the strait. All right. So, yeah, we got our defense going. They're not attacking us any longer. They have uh, given up on attempting to attack us here. We do have all of our provinces uh, under our control with the exception of that one. That's the only one that we lost uh, as of right now. So, still looking decent, guys. We've got a sick commander. That's unfortunate. Alright, still training up those guys as well. And it looks like we got plenty of time to entrench up. That's nice. I was a little bit worried about it. I didn't think we'd have enough time to, to get the entrenchment done. Uh, but yeah, they're not attacking us immediately. So that's going to give us uh, time to get all of our troops entrenched. And uh, forts built as well. You know, we're getting forts finished up. This one's almost done. There we go. That one's constructed now. Now we're working on the Rotterdam fort. Um, as well as one right there, which... We'll let that one continue to go here. Uh, get the next Rotterdam fort done in the 6th of February. Uh, and Columbia canceled their lend lease. Okay, so we got uh, plenty of convoys now, uh, which is good to see. And now they're attacking. Damn it. And it is not a win. Shit. All right, that's unfortunate, guys. I was expecting the forts to be enough with the troops that we have. Uh, we didn't entrench very long, though, so there is that. Uh, frankly, I do think we're going to be losing all this. And we might want to go ahead and back up then in this case. Um, I don't know if you can attack. I'm going to have to test this, guys, because I don't know what the movement is. So you can't attack Rotterdam from here. 
Okay. Yeah, you can go ahead and attack Rotterdam. So you do have to defend that one. Um, we don't have to defend this one here, though. There's really no reason to defend that. So let's pull back then, in this case. Although we do have the fortifications there, so... I guess as long as they don't take this. I'm just worried that we'll lose here, and then this guy will, these guys will get cut off, uh, which would be a major problem. Uh, we've got Concentrated Industry 4. Excellent. Uh, so let's go ahead and... Well, we're actually done here. All right. Uh, and engineering, don't have to worry about that for a while. Uh, could go ahead and start working on the planes, obviously. We're not even building those. We just don't have the production for them right now. Uh, so I guess we're going to go ahead and get the passive bonuses here for the anti-tanks and anti-air. Uh, let's actually start with anti-air here. Look at that one. All right. So, yeah, I think they are going to break through there. I don't think there's really much I can do about it. It's green right now, but as you can see, it's, it's, it's not high enough, guys, I don't think. Uh, again, I could pull these four here, and that would help us. So I might do that if necessary, but I did spend all that time building those fortifications, so let's let them at least have the fightest for the province. I think that would be wise. Could have the blue army extend out this way, but I really want them to focus on uh, defending here. It's just going to be the red army's job, guys. Red army has to cover this for us, and they're doing okay. And we are building another fort there as well. Uh, though it doesn't look like we're ever going to get it done. Uh, getting that Rotterdam built up. And yeah, they weren't able to do it. All right, uh, they will keep on attacking this day though, so I'll have to see how it goes. And then of course they are invading into France. France is gonna fall. There's no way around that, guys. Uh, the, the French will eventually collapse. Uh, they are still defending the south, all right. And the British still have the invasion going here in Naples uh, successfully. Uh, it does look like losing here as well. Yep, the Allies are losing there. We do have unassigned division here. We're gonna get these guys training up then. Uh, that's one of the uh, Dutch East Indies divisions. Since we do have them giving us all of their divisions. Alright. Alright, so they decided to stop attacking for a little while. Great. Gave us some time to build the organization up, build the entrenchment up, and try and get that fort completed. Get it up to a level 4 fort. Uh, there's also rain here, which would affect them a little bit as well, at least in the air. Alright, so yeah. We've got a pretty good defense set up here, guys. Could be could be better, but could be worse. Uh, it's not too shabby, guys. I'm, I'm impressed we were able to get this... Uh, Defended the way it is. Uh, I mean we didn't get as high a level forts as I would have liked around here uh, Up here along this front but Remember we do have this front as well. So this has to get defended um, So as soon as the Belgians fall you knew that that was gonna happen Paris has already fallen and Paris has capitulated and all these British divisions are going to get completely wiped out because the AI cannot get out of it all right, so France has fallen already, guys. And remember, the Spanish are at war with the Germans, so now they have to invade into Spain. Uh, but the Spanish are also a member of the Common Turn, uh, so I don't know that the Allies would be too keen on defending it. Uh, you could kill a lot of Germans along this here, um, but yeah, I just don't think they're going to defend it very well. All right, so this is it. Fortress Holland, man. Here we are. Uh, pretty much alone. Um, and we can't trade with the French anymore. Uh, that's right, uh, because they don't have anything. So we'll have to trade with somebody else. Uh, let's trade with uh, the UK, I guess. Yeah, it might be wise to trade trade with them, try and help them out since they're going to be key now uh, to getting them defeated, uh, getting the Germans defeated. Can also help the Republican uh, Spanish out, uh, but I think they're going to be gone soon. So I think uh, letting them build any more in their land doesn't actually help us in the war much. So let's go ahead and trade with the the uh, British instead. All right, make sure that we're getting that steel for our factories. All right, so yeah, we're just on the defense, guys. Uh, we might speed it up here if I think that they're not going to do anything for a little while. Or they just can't break through, which does look like that's going to be the case. Still trying to get this fort done, but yeah, I don't know that we ever will because they keep on attacking there. That is kind of the weak point, I think. It's the weak point along this line here. They could break through here a little bit easier. For whatever reason, they haven't decided to do so. All right, so yeah, just real slow going there. I'm getting these uh, forts constructed. All right, uh, so let's kind of leave it as is. Could build some troops up, but we don't have the equipment, guys. Uh, though infantry equipment is a lot better situation than it was before. Uh, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and pull one factory off of here and put it towards the artillery, since we're short on that. Uh, we do have a free dockyard, which means we finished up. Oh, we're not even building motorized because all these are damaged. Okay, uh, what we might do is go ahead and tick these down to the bottom so that they get the damaged ones, since we are, I believe, stacked up on anti-air and anti-tank. Yes, sir. All right, so that's how we'll do it. Uh, so that the, make sure the motorized are at least getting some repaired factories. And so now we have the new, uh, new light cruiser, uh, which is awesome. Uh, so we're gonna move them uh, to this fleet. 
get them stationed over there. Maybe we'll train them up once they get there. Uh, and then what we can do is go ahead and make some adjustments to this design here. And uh, whatever, we, we, we got the guns assigned already. I know that we got something else built, but I don't remember what it was. Maybe depth charges? Remember what we got, was it torpedoes? No, we didn't get torpedo launchers either. I thought we had gotten something here. Oh, I remember now. We got sonar, guys. Let's get the sonar. Um, the light, again, I felt like that was a waste of production. Uh, that little tiny bit of light attack uh, for the 60 production, I don't feel like it's worth it. So instead we'll get the sonar there. We could also put it here instead so that we can keep that. But I didn't actually want that. So I think that this is the best way to do it. And now we actually have some sub detection because we didn't have that before. And I think that's it. That's all we need to assign. So let's get that done. And then let's go ahead and build these. Put them up here and uh, get them built in here, I guess. And go and assign all the dockyards that we have. All right, so get us another light cruiser. And maybe we'll work on something uh, different uh, later. Right now, we'll just focus on light cruisers. I think those are the only modern uh, ships we have. Oh, we do have subs. Could always get a, a thing of subs going. Yeah, you know what, let's do that. Uh, let's get some submarines. Uh, so, yeah, because I think we have, I mean, I would like to have better torpedoes. Oh, we actually have torpedo tubes. Are those assigned as are? Okay. Yeah, we'll go ahead and do these. Um, get these building. Uh, no change have been made, so yeah, we don't need to save them. Uh, and we could just go ahead and uh, name them, though. Yeah, let's go ahead and name these guys uh, so that I can start this. What is it called? My tax submarines. Yeah, let's kind of start having a name here. And these are the twos dash A's. And I guess we'll call them the historical K class ones. That's fine. All right, so let's go and rename that and get this assigned. And we're really not going to build, uh, put a ton of factories or dockyards towards this. Maybe just one for right now. All right. Get my WASD keys back to movement. Okay. Uh, so, yeah, we're just uh, on the defense here. And we'll just kind of speed this up, speed it up to speed four. To keep our eye on our situation here. Uh, keep our eye on the Japanese as well. And also on these troops here. Uh, yeah, that are actually currently done. All right. Well, let me just take a look. Oops. My bad. Uh, let's just take a look here. See what they're working on. Bomber modernization. They haven't done those decision jets, which is interesting. Uh, and then let me see what we did here. Uh, it looks like our submarines are in fact being bombed there. All right, so this was kind of worried about. And I don't think there's anything to sink here anyway. We haven't had any success. And we did end up losing, or at least getting one damaged. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna go and attach them there. Get them moving back over to the Asian theater, uh, which is where I want most of our submarines, or all of our submarines at, in fact. Uh, so let's go and tr uh, send these two to our well, we can put one into here and this one will want to move I'm just trying to take a look at where the best place to to send him let's have him go to Singapore all right fantastic and then the uh, last guy I think we're gonna send I know this is gonna take him a while to get there and what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and close off access to the Red Sea so that he takes the long way there uh, but I think we're gonna send him to our front because uh, I feel like we got enough divisions here for right now. Let's just go ahead and send him over to the Red Army here. And of course, it'll take him a long time to get here, but that's okay. Alright, so. Yes, Free France, of course. Oh, look at this. Um, So, what happened here? All right, so interesting. They ended up splitting into two, uh, and that does result in uh, Free France getting a little bit of territory. Not much, though. Yeah, they have this here um, where the British are at, uh, which will get them supply again, which means they might actually be able to escape. These guys are going to die, though. Uh, and it looks like they have a few uh, provinces. They have Sardinia in their hands. A little bit of Corsica. They'd have to take these last two provinces, get the rest of the island up, and then Africa seems to be split between the two sides. What about their, their other territories? Uh, okay, so this is under Free France. As usual. Um, all right, so happened a little bit differently than it typically happens. Uh, yeah, we'll keep it on speed four. I don't think they're gonna be able to break through, guys. Uh, again, maybe they're just planning. Um, just, you know, you can see they're just kind of probing the attacks. And they could, let me take that back. They could break through right here. I don't think they'll be able to break through right here, though. Uh, those guys are fully entrenched. Um, and if we could just get these damn forts done, I think we got, yeah, okay, we're still trying to get this done here. 
Alright. That's the only one they really seem to be interested in attacking for whatever reason. Uh, what we could do is also extend this here. Just to protect these, if need be, uh, with the blue army. Uh, extend the blue army's front over that way. Uh, what do we have available here for the decisions? Uh, it's just war propaganda. So they say we're not interested in that right now. Let me see if there's any decisions here that we should be doing that I'm not. Uh, or just forgot that we could. I don't see anything. Nope. Uh, could always get war support up higher, but I feel like we're fine in that regard. Alright. They are just waiting. The British here look like they're finally going to get their invasion probably knocked out here soon. They're still winning, though. Still green. Uh, the uh, invasion here is still working out for them. Uh, they, in fact, have two ports here. If I was in control of this, man, we'd be able to push push south here. Uh, they're just not really inclined on, on doing it for whatever reason. Uh, taking advantage of the situation there. Uh, these troops here are, are cut off from supply, but they have not been able to wipe them out yet. They're fighting in these very high-level forts here, so the Germans are taking a lot of casualties. At the end of the episode, guys, we will take a look at the casualty screen uh, and see how we've done, seeing how the, the Germans have done, because uh, I'm curious to see uh, exactly what the situation is in, is in regards to the casualties. Let's go and send another division over here, and that'll get us up to 20. Uh, then we'll take these other two and put them into this purple army here and get them moving to further defend our territories around here. Uh, so, because yeah, I don't really feel like we have quite enough. Send another one there, and then we'll send this guy here. Let's try and get all those ports uh, up to level two. Uh, we also need to build some coastal forts there, but for right now I want to get the fort situation here dealt with since we're not currently at war with the Japanese. Uh, but eventually we need to get some coastal forts over there. So still trying to get this built, and it does look like we might be able to get it done just because they're not attacking at this moment. And Romania just joined the Axis, so they've gotten even stronger, guys, and that does open up a new front against the Soviets. And as of right now, they've been sitting at a stalemate, and that might be just enough to break the stalemate, guys. Uh, now that the Romanians are into the conflict, I think it could be. Uh, but... Oh, okay, these guys are just about wrapped up here. So yeah, the British held out. Probably caused a lot of casualties to them, uh, but it is over. Uh, they fought well. Uh, so 15th of March, we get that one constructed. Excellent. Looks like we got that done. Uh, or maybe not. It's this one here. My bad. Uh, so cancel on lease. Okay, that's fine. So yeah, trying to get these ones done here. Uh, we are level, level 4 there. Uh, and with that one, that'll put level 4 there. And then this one here should be done soon, too. And we got the symbol of resistance. Actually, uh, excellent. So that is uh, plus 10%. Uh, defense on core territory. That's kind of the biggest benefit there uh, for us. So we're going to replace the defeatist government uh, and that'll help with war support. Uh, I think that's what we're going to do next. Let me just take a look and make sure there's not anything else that uh, uh, would be more useful at the moment. Yeah, I'm not really seeing anything, guys. Yeah, uh, let's go ahead and continue on, on that branch, guys. Try and get the queen in control, man. Uh, so let's replace the defeatist government. And that does replace this guy here, who is limiting our... Well, we're more likely to surrender, first of all. And secondly, the war support is down by 10%, uh, which, of course, does help with the defense on court territory. Uh, so we do want to get it up. Uh, not enough for me to take that one decision, uh, but certainly enough to do that, that focus. Let's go and get the anti-tanks. Uh, yeah, let's do the anti-tanks. I thought we had already done that. Oh, we're doing the anti-air first. Okay. That's right. I guess that makes more sense. Because, uh, yeah, they do control the skies here, as you guys can see. Uh, full control of the skies at the moment. Uh, so what I want to do is I want to take a look and see if this ship has arrived. This uh, extra cruiser that we have. Uh, see if he's there. He is there. Alright, so what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and put him in his own separate little uh, fleet here and just have him train up and do the naval exercises there. Try and get him fully experienced. And, uh, you know, I don't want the whole fleet to do it because we don't really have a, a need for naval experience at the moment. So there's no reason to. Uh, we have plenty of fuel, of course, though. Uh, so yeah, they're not able to break through here for right now. Uh, we're looking good. Fortifications are holding out here. Uh, and yeah, we're about to get another level fort up there. Uh, and then we'll we'll focus on building in the back here. Um, I think that that's imperative to, to build up a secondary defense line for if they break through. Uh, and as of right now, we're getting them up to level 2. That's not quite high enough. Um, but this looks like it's going to be pretty difficult for them to break through here, guys. So that's fine for right now. Uh, so let's go ahead and work on the coastal forts of some of the key provinces over here for when the Japanese eventually declare war. Let me just see what they're currently doing. Non-aggression pact with the Soviet Union. Okay. But yeah, I'd like to get a couple coastal forts over here. I think that would be very helpful. Very helpful indeed. 
Uh, so at least like in like the capital, some of the key areas here, they broke through here, so that'd be a great place to have it. Uh, just in the the two key uh, land masses here, I'd like to have all the ports well defended. All right, and then maybe we'll build uh, in Bordeaux later. Uh, but first, let's work on the key places, and that'll also tick up our uh, or tick down their autonomy uh, and attempt to. Uh, it doesn't look like we're getting much here because they're, they're contributing towards war score. But eventually I'd like to annex them. So we do need to build in their territory. Uh, building up the infrastructure would be another great thing that gets us some supplies too. And all right, so they did get another division. He's moved over here. All right, but that's fine. We'll leave him there, I guess. Uh, that's one of the divisions I think that we had sent from here. No, no, we're still getting these guys. Uh, they're taking their sweet ass time to get here. They still went to the goddamn Mediterranean, man. This is so frustrating. Like, I, I told you not to go there for a reason. And these guys are, well, they're not even doing it. I'm gonna have to micromanage this shit, man. So frustrating, man. Like, I told you not to go through the Red Sea. Because I didn't want you going to the Mediterranean. So instead, they just found a way to uh, go around it. Um, yeah, why are you going here of all fucking places? Whatever, man. If they go, if they die, they die. At this point, it's it's fine. Whatever. They're already. Uh, I mean, I guess we could send them. Okay, this is what I'll do. Let's get something selected here, and then I'll I'll, I'll do something. Try and fix that, guys. Uh, so we 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 knocked out all those. Um, yeah, we're still solidly in 1941. Uh, eventually, I'd like to get the logistic company. Maybe we'll get that now, because uh, I'm not seeing anything else that we need. We could go and get the the better planes, I guess, um, if we wanted to. I suppose that's an option. Maybe we'll do that, guys. Get the better planes. Uh, what was the other thing I said? Oh, yes, the uh, logistic companies. You know what? We're going to do that. We'll do that first, guys. All right. Oh, yes, that's right. I was going to mess with this damn division, try and fix him. Uh, and we'll just have him go. Yeah, this that's just not the fastest way, man. Like, let's just have him go, I guess, all the way down. Is this all part of, that's all part of the Red Sea? All right. I'm just gonna have to cut off all access to the Mediterranean, man. All right, so let him go that way. It's kind of irritating that we had to do it this way, guys. Oh, and he's not even taking the railroads. I must have turned that off. My bad. There we go. Good God, man. That's frustrating. Could have him help out over here in Africa. I'm just gonna let the Allies handle that. I'm um, just really uh, want to focus on defending our own territory because we are facing a much superior enemy, and I'd like to keep control over everything if we can. Uh, you know, obviously with the exception of that one province, which I knew that there's no way we're gonna hold that. Uh, I can never hold that damn province as the uh, as the Dutch. Uh, but yeah, we're looking pretty good, guys. Uh, and the last fort here uh, in Amsterdam is getting constructed. Greeks have already capitulated. Not surprising. Uh, now, level two forts are not going to be enough here, guys. Uh, obviously, if uh, we start losing this territory, we're going to need to build that up uh, even higher. Uh, but yeah, let's get these done first. Uh, let's get all those, those uh, just up to level two. And then maybe we'll try and get some level six fortifications along here to make it even less likely they'll be able to break through. Uh, so, uh, because once they defeat the, the Soviets, if they do defeat the Soviets, which they did last time, then they can send that all their army against us, which is what happened last time and how we ended up uh, losing. So, get level six forts, I think, would be uh, really, really helpful. Uh, I guess we're uh, going to go and get the planes. Again, I don't know when we're going to build them because of our, our production issues. Uh, but yeah, let's get the, the fighters. I want to get naval bombers built, though, man. Well, we're actually doing pretty good on infantry equipment. Okay, I didn't realize that. We can go and pull this back then. See what else we're short on. We're short on motorized still. Uh, so uh, we have five factories going there. We'll put like six. And then let's go ahead and start getting some fighters going, guys. And some uh, naval bombers, and maybe some close air support. Maybe just one towards each of these. For right now, I don't want to focus too much on plane production because it's just not uh, going to be wise, uh, I think at this moment and we'll get one more still need to repair factories too so that's another problem uh let's go ahead and keep on putting it in infantry equipment i know we're stacked with eight thousand, but you guys saw how quickly we can burn through uh infantry equipment so yeah i think it'd be good to get it stacked up a bit more and we could actually go and start building troops now too uh, if we wanted to now that we actually have a bit of infantry equipment there uh so i guess we'll start out by seeing what we need here again it's all motorized shortages so let's go ahead and get those guys deployed and then we can build one of our own troops, which I did name them Orange Boys. I don't know if I showed this last episode. I did this last episode, but I completely forgot to show it, I think. 
Um, I don't remember showing it anyway. So we named it Orange Boys. This was uh, suggested by two people, uh, of course, because of the House of Orange, uh, since we have the Green Boys here, uh, and I gave them the, the crown look here. So what I had talked about doing was making these into to 40 width divisions. I don't know if we're going to do that now, guys. Uh, I don't know if we'll ever have the equipment uh, to do so, but I really would like to uh, eventually take them up. What we could always do... What we could always do... Let me just take a look here and see if there's... Yeah, there's nothing really to, to add to them just yet. Um, I keep saying this. What we could do is duplicate them and then create a model, uh, a 40 width model, and then just slowly change them to it. Uh, but let's first get two more divisions just because I don't like where we're sitting on troop numbers just yet. Because uh, I'd like to get the Red Army up to 20, 20, 20 divisions. Uh, so let's go and train two divisions here, guys. And we're going to take these guys up to the top here. Just get two divisions for right now. Uh, and then again, deprioritize this. Uh, and just go and set them up. Well, we don't really need to set them up anywhere. Alright. So yeah, I get two more divisions. Uh, and that will also result in some people sending us... Uh, some support equipment and, and other goodies. We'll take that. Because, uh, yeah, we're short on artillery now and short on support equipment. How are we doing on building those up? We could put one more factory into that, I suppose. Yeah, let's go ahead and do that. Let's take this down and put it into support equipment. Uh, and we have a decision available. Let's take a look what this is. Let's develop in the oil fields. All right, well, we don't need oil right now. So let's go ahead and just say we're not interested in seeing it, though I can't seem to find it. There we go. All right. Just kind of let it fly here. Got about five, or five more minutes or so of the episode. And we can't actually do something here. We have 150 political power, so we'll do something in a minute. And uh, we will take their support equipment offers as long as I don't take too much convoys. Uh, and what was I going to do? Oh, yes. Uh, we're going to modify our government. Uh, so we're already at extensive. We're probably going to leave it at that. War economy is going to stay the same as well. Uh, I want to say that there's one that we're talking about switching to this eventually. I don't remember what it was, though. Uh, it doesn't look like any of these are available. Maybe I'm mistaken. You know what? Actually, it was once we got uh, a certain focus we don't have yet. That's what it was. Uh, so could get the new ship designer. Let's go and get the Atlantic Fleet designer. I eventually would like to get a heavy cruiser model building. Um, once we start going down that branch, we're going to get that. Uh, none of them are really... None of those are at all helpful for us in the moment. Uh, the tank designers, we're not going to be getting tanks anytime soon. Now they're trying to break through here. And there's only three divisions defending right there. I hate that there's so many divisions defending over here. Um, that's kind of frustrating because yeah, we, we need them there. Uh, maybe we'll move one of them uh, if we start to lose here. We'll have to see what happens. Uh, but yeah, still trying to get these built up. Uh, what we'll do is we'll go ahead and set the land fort ups next. Because uh, I'd like to get uh, these up to level 5 uh, all the way across here. We'll get that up to level 5, and then I think after that we're going to start working on getting to, to level 6 uh, across here. Uh, so let's go ahead and do that. Obviously this is going to take a long time before we get any of this done here. Alright, so that looks good. Uh, let's just go ahead and tick all this down to the bottom. Oops. Oh, that's repairs. Okay. Alright. Uh, so yeah, uh, that'll give us our, keep our guys busy for a long time. I'd love if we could build military factories. That's just not an option at the moment. Uh, gotta get these forts going, guys. Uh, and yeah, I hate that they're not uh, sending more divisions there. Uh, let's take a look and see where those two divisions are that we sent. Uh, we currently have... Oh, damn, I sent him down there and then I didn't... Shit. Motherfucker. <laughs> I should have uh, shift-clicked at him to go back here now. There we go. Good God, man. Where's this guy at? All right, he's coming around South Africa now. Uh, election, government contested. With an upcoming election, people are beginning to question the capability of the current administration. All right, so uh, let the political landscape shift to keep the people united, uh, and that gain us political power and stability. But there'd be communists, and uh, yeah, we'd lose a lot. Of, we'd gain a lot of support for those. It's fine. We'll go ahead and use the political power and uh, lose the stability. Yeah, I do not want. To gain more support for them. I mean, it's all the same because we gotta like tick them down, but it could take from their support. And I'm trying to get that up to 45% as quickly as we can here. Uh, and Romania is just called in, so they hadn't been called in yet. And yet the the Axis was still pushing the Soviets back a little bit. Uh, again, I think that's gonna make a, a big change there. It also seems that the British have lost even more territory. I think they're eventually gonna lose there. Uh, have they lost on their invasion in North Germany? They did. Alright, so that one's done as well. And yeah, this is getting worse and worse, guys. All right, so we need to move one of these divisions here. Um, let me see which one has the lowest entrenchment. They all have the same. Uh, so we'll just move him because he's the least experienced. 
And I don't know why they are doing that. Um, I think... Well, it's fine. I almost want to send a, a blue division over there. Help them out, man. Yeah, we're about to lose there. God damn. All right, that's unfortunate. Yeah, because they just didn't, uh, they didn't fucking defend it. All right, this is what we're gonna do, guys. Let's pull this back so these guys can move over to here. Uh, and then we're gonna take these. Um, I'm gonna kind of manually do this because otherwise they're gonna do it all uh, in a bad way. Uh, so let's go and take these two, move them over there, and take all three of these guys, have them go over there. I don't know if we're able to get there in time, guys. I mean, they, they, our divisions still move really slow because of the uh, uh, lack of air control. We might, in fact, need to attack with one of these divisions here. Although that wouldn't stop these ones from advancing. Let me just take a look and see when they're set to get there. Oh, these must be supporting. So who's attacking? Oh, they're gonna, as soon as they win, they take the province. Shit. We might need to attack from here, guys. Let's go and attack there. And then we're gonna send um, one of these divisions here, over to here. All right, cause yeah, they have, they have gotten there, guys. Uh, when do we get there? Oh man, I think we're about to lose this province. 22 hours for the closest one, and uh, let's just slow this down a little bit. We didn't actually need to fight there. Okay, let's go ahead and have this guy go here. And now they're moving. When do they get there? One day and two hours, so we should get there before them. Uh, but we still gotta keep those guys locked down. If we want to make sure they don't take the province. They are attacking there now. I think we're going to pull this completely back and just give that one up. And in fact, because, yeah, we're not going to be able to hold it now that I had to do that attack. Uh, so let's just have... Oh, I can't seem to pull it back. Have them hold these here. Go ahead and make them fight for the forts for a little bit. Uh, but eventually, yeah, we're going to want to pull back here. All right, so we got that guy going here. And I'm going to send... I almost want to send one more over there. That's fine. When does he get here? 22 hours, we should be there in time. 12 hours, though we do have to make sure that we win this attack here, which is gonna be kind of difficult to do. Uh, we might need to send another division here on the attack. All right, and then we'll have this guy go ahead and start retreating there. And then let's just send, we're just gonna have to send one more of these over there, guys. They're now attacking there. Uh, we are getting more divisions coming over there, though, so there's that. Uh, but I needed these divisions to get there. I was talking shit. We were gonna hold this, but damn it, we lost it. Fuck. We're so close, man. So close uh, to keeping it, but yeah, now we're losing it. And we're attacking across the river now. Uh, it does look like we're gonna get it. Uh, maybe, it's hard to say. Uh, we gotta actually win there. Uh, and just have these guys retreat here now. And I'm trying to get. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know that we're gonna be able to do it, guys. It's really hard to say here. This guy's supposed to be retreating. Had these three get in there, and that should defend that province once they're there. Don't know if we'll be able to get there, though, guys. Yeah, it does look like we're going to lose it. Shit. All right, so that's unfortunate. It's really unfortunate, guys. All right, so let's go and adjust it, then. Just uh, give it up. We know we lost it. And that's the current situation. It's a real shame. Holding out there. Still have divisions attempting to attack here. That's not going to work, so we'll stop that. We'll stop all those attacks. Clearly not going to work. Rotterdam could be attacked any moment now. And it's not well defended at this moment. I'm going to make them fight us for that since there's the forts there. Okay. Yeah, we'll just have to make them fight for every single province they take from us. Uh, 11 convoys for some stuff? Sure. Yeah, we'll take all those goodies. Yeah, you can see we, we burned through that infantry equipment fairly quickly. I know that some of it went for the, the two new units that we're currently building, but... Yeah, we did go through it pretty quick. Uh, and it does look like we'll probably lose this province now. Yeah, more than likely, because uh, his divisions are pretty weak uh, beforehand. But we're going to make them fight us for it. Might as well. Uh, we do have forts there, and it's uh, costly to them. Hopefully uh, this will also give us a chance to get the entrenchment and organization up for our troops in Rotterdam. Um, and let's just go ahead and have these guys stick here now. Uh, and just say that we're not even going to attempt to defend it at this point. Just defend these two for right now. And I suppose we'll also want to extend them now. 
And yeah, they're gonna all back up. All right, here's what it is. Let's take a look and see where these two troops are now. Uh, where they're at, all right, so he is now, trying, he's in the, actually in the seas at this point. And then we have this division here. Uh, okay, so it's still got a long way to go. Uh, let's take these divisions, take a look at these divisions, excuse me. And these guys are all now done, so let's throw them into uh, the purple army here and get them moving. And I think we're gonna actually send two more over and we're gonna have to, again, just manually control this here. Uh, I'm gonna have them, they're gonna join the red army, but we're gonna have them just go this way. All right, so send two more over there. And in fact, we'll just put them into their own little separate army so I can easily click on them and see where they're at. So send two more to get them up to 22 divisions here. In fact, we should have just sent all of those. Now that I think about it, all the ones that we just uh, finished up building here. Uh, where the hell are those at? Yeah, let's just send all these guys here. Make sure that these are, yeah, these are them. We're gonna put them all into the red army here. Just gonna put them there and get them traveling over there to get them up to, oh, well, no, no, I forgot we're building two more. Never mind, let me take that back. Let me take that back. We'll keep them here. Uh, War with the Japanese is gonna be kicking off here sooner rather than later, so might as well go ahead and get uh, all these ports defended. Uh, so we need another one there. Uh, let's go ahead and take one of these guys here, put him here, and then this one will go here, and then uh, the next one will go right there. All right, so uh, looking good. I think the Japanese are gonna have a lot of trouble taking that territory from us. But I said that about the territory here and uh, you can see that we, we lost. Um, so I guess we'll see. Uh, and so we are done with all the industrial techs for uh, 1941 and we're working on planes already. Um, I, think we got, I think we got just about everything we need right now. Yeah. Yeah, pretty much everything that we would want for 1941. I guess we can just work on uh, more planes so that whenever we, uh, I guess we are building planes, so having the better ones out there would be useful. Yeah, I guess we'll do planes. Why not? Uh, getting the passive bonuses for planes would be nice too, but let's get the most modern planes. Let's get naval bombers next. Again, I want to use those against the uh, Japanese. Uh, I think that'll be key. Almost lost here. Uh, we'll wait to end the episode until we do lose, so I can see, uh, until we do lose, I mean, so I can see exactly how many casualties uh, we took. Uh, so, oh, this is two separate. Okay, I see what's going on here. Um, this is all messed up. All right. And so now they're attacking there. We have the 12 divisions here. I assume some of them are going to move over there. All right, so we are holding out there. Let's see how that ends up going. I uh, do have high-level forts there. Let me just take a look at our fort situation. Okay, we're still constructing these here. Uh, and then we'll try and get that one done. And then after that, we're going to get another fort there. And then it's going to be all about getting the level 6 forts across here. Okay, just try and make them pay for, for every attack they do. And uh, just kind of draw this out here like this with these three provinces. And it'll be, uh, for right now, I think we have 18 divisions here. So that would be six per, per province. Okay. So, uh, let's go ahead and, oh, we can take a look at what's going on here. Looks like the British are defending here. All right, so that should take a lot of casualties there. Uh, cause the Germans a lot of casualties, I mean. All right, and it looks like the Allies are winning in uh, the African theater as well, so that's good to see. Little victories here and there, guys. Uh, but as I said, uh, this did end up uh, resulting in them taking some provinces here. Yeah, they took three provinces, so... Uh, it does look like that has been uh, kind of the deciding factor here, kind of break the stalemate. This is the Romanians joining as I thought it was. Uh, so we're going to end this by looking at the casualties. Uh, we are currently 12% towards capitulation, though that will change once we get rid of that one commander. Uh, we have only taken 60 casualties ourselves because, remember, uh, and there's only 60 dudes lost, that's it. Because, remember, we only have the eight blue divisions that are all been defending the blue front, so haven't really been fighting much, so that's the reason for that. Uh, but we have lost 66,000 casualties here uh, from the Dutch East Indies. Those are the divisions we have there. So that's our total casualties right now, 66,000. Uh, the Germans have taken 1.93 million, and we have done 176,000 of that. Uh, so 160, uh, 176,000 for 66,000. So not bad, guys. Yeah, that's uh, almost three, you know, Dutch troops or Dutch East Indy troops, whatever you want to say. Um, I guess you could call them Indonesian uh, troops lost for every German that was killed here. Uh, but yeah, that didn't even count the fact that we did fight the Italians as well. Although we didn't kill enough to be uh, marked on here. Uh, but yeah, we have killed uh, quite a few Germans. Um, 176,000, 1.93 million total casualties for the Germans, 1.99 million for the Italians. Uh, right now they've taken pretty high casualties overall. Uh, if you take a look at our side, 
uh, see how we're doing. Belgium lost 264,000. Uh, UK, 1.62 million. Good God, that's a lot for the UK. Uh, we'll have to take a look at how the manpower is doing for everybody. Uh, 808,000 for Republican Spain, 4.62 million for the Soviets. They're definitely winning the manpower war right now, or the casualty war. Let's take a look at the Germans. They currently have uh, about 900 something thousand manpower remaining. They're already on old adult serve though. So that means their factory production is getting hit pretty hard. Uh, looking at the uh, Republic of Spain, a lot of, uh, lot of manpower left for them and they're at service by requirement. Uh, let's look at the British here. Uh, only 160,000 manpower left. They're only on extensive though, so they do have room to adjust. Uh, take a look at the Italians. Running out of manpower for them uh, and they're on service by requirement. And let's take a look at the Soviets. Um, still a lot of manpower left. Uh, obviously, they don't, they don't ever run out of manpower, but uh, I think we burned them out of manpower one time before. So that's the current situation, guys. Um, so we're just waiting for the Japanese and the Americans to join. Uh, and those will probably be the last two major countries here. And they're getting their non-aggression pact with the Soviet Union, trying to secure that northern border so that they can do their southern strike. So uh, we'll have to see what happens. I do expect the Japanese to go to war with us next episode, which will then open up this new front. Cause this one here is really just a defensive front, really just trying to defend the territories as good as we can. Uh, we'll, we'll go up to speed four again, I suppose. Um, but yeah, I don't, I don't know, guys. I don't know if we'll be able to defend this. Uh, I think we'll be able to defend here along this line. Uh, I don't think they'll take Rotterdam uh, because, yeah, we do have the uh, the flooded uh, bonus on these two. So I'd be really surprised if they can, they can win there. Uh, but I... We couldn't end up losing these two provinces. Uh, that's a real uh, possibility. Uh, but yeah, I hope you guys did enjoy the episode. If you did, make sure you leave a like on the video, subscribe to our channel, hit that notification bell, and leave a comment. Hope to see you on the next episode, and thanks for watching, guys.